One of the most common misconceptions out there for beginner dancers is that you need to know a ton of steps in order to dance well. Well, that couldn't be further from the truth. What you guys actually need to do is learn a few steps really well and use those as a launch pad for the rest of your dancing lives together. That's right. We're gonna show you in this video two simple moves and the fundamental skills needed to master those skills. That's right. And for those of you who are brand new to this channel, my name is Joel and this is a lovely Clara. Hello. And we have been professional ballroom dance teachers for the past 16 years, but more specifically, we have developed our own method to teach total beginners. Not only is this method easy and simple, but it is also versatile and can be danced to pretty much any music out there. Imagine that, versatility and flexibility. Awesome. <laughs> For those of you who like what you're hearing, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell down below so that you know whenever Joel and Clara post a video. So the first simple move that we're gonna show you is the underarm turn. Exactly, we're going to choose actually a clockwise underarm turn where Clara is going to be going under my left hand and turning to the right or clockwise, yeah? And now, as we're thinking about all the different spins and all that stuff that you might see on YouTube or television or movies, really what we've done is we said, you know what? A simple stationary underarm turn is by far the most fundamental action. So we're just going to go over one thing that we need to do as leads, yeah? Because a lot of times people think, we're gonna put the hand up and then the lady's just gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> but unfortunately, or fortunately, I'm programmed to follow whatever action Joel gives me through his body language. Mm -hmm. His body language was just doing this, so I didn't know which way to turn. <laughs> yeah, all I'm doing is a Statue of Liberty, and we ended exactly. up being a statue. Yeah. So one thing leads that we want to do for this underarm turn is we want to make sure that we move that lead hand, which happens to be my left hand. We're going to move that in a clockwise direction over Clara's head so that she actually gets that information to turn in that direction. Yes, otherwise I'm just doing it independently and we have no connection between us. Exactly, so if we see that again, here we go, my hand comes up, but I turn my hand in a clockwise direction. Yeah, and who's to say, you know, whether the lead wants me to go clockwise or counterclockwise, so I really need to be paying attention and Joel really needs to be using his body language to tell me what to do. Exactly, there are so many other little factors that go involved in having that communication and we don't have the time uh, to do that in this video, but if you already start thinking leads about the movement of the hand, that's gonna go so far in getting a little bit more confidence and a little bit more communication um, when you guys are trying out this move. Now for the follows, just like I was saying, we need to respond to whatever body language the Joel, that, uh, the, the Joel or the Joel. You can call me the Joel. Everyone can call me the Joel. Or your partner. <laughs> <laughs> is giving you. So um, as his hand is circling, you want to make sure that your spine or your belly button is connected to that hand. So as that hand's circling, so is my body. Yeah. A lot of times um, ladies will complain that, oh my, but my arm is getting all, you know, <laughs> it bent out of shape yeah. and feeling bad. But that's often because your body hasn't responded. Yeah. So notice how my belly button is still facing Joel, but my arm is circling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I want my belly button to circle at the same time as my arm, and then it won't get into that awkward position. Exactly. It will feel a lot better also for the leads because we feel like we are in, in a more control. We have a better connection to your whole body instead of it just being that I'm moving that arm. Then I'm like, uh, Clara, I want you to turn. So then maybe I'll push more. And then that just exacerbates the problem of having shoulder problems because the gentleman is too forceful. Right, so your body has to be very responsive. So it's gonna respond with the hand at the same time. Exactly, so these are just little concepts for our first action, which is the ladies underarm turn. We're gonna transition now into action number two or move number two, which is a passing action. We're just gonna demonstrate, demonstrate that first. Zoom where now Clara and I are passing each other. Yeah, you might go, is that really a dance move? And we'll be like, yes, <laughs> it is. Yes, when you reduce it down, boil mm -hmm. it down to the production of the step, then that's what it is. Exactly. Sometimes you'll see, and actually later on in this video, we'll show you how it can be developed further. Okay, but with this idea, we're gonna go over the leads again, and I'm just gonna do it again in this original orientation. The first thing, gentlemen, or leads that we need to do is we need to put a little bit more energy so that our partner has some momentum to actually travel. The first thing is we want to tell Clara, I want you to travel, and by doing that, hopefully she travels. <laughs> <laughs> I did. Yeah, exactly. So 
We don't want to just bring the hands there and then just hope that Clara goes. We actually need to put some uh, pulling energy. And if you notice, I'm even moving my body backwards and my hands are following that body movement backwards, which then transmits some energy into Clara. Yeah. All right. And ladies, you can see I'm responding right away and going into that direction. Mm -hmm. The second thing that we do as well need to do for this as a lead is to make sure that we accommodate the space for our partner to go through. So notice when I'm now pulling, I'm starting to open up my left side because I want Clara to pass me on my left side. Yeah. Instead of pulling Clara and now I'm still in the way and now I'm acting like a wall. <laughs> <laughs> Body slam. <laughs> so I'm doing both a pull and I'm opening up and letting Clara now pass me. Yeah, and as follow, when you see that space open up for you, of course, you go into that space. Mm -hmm. So be very responsive with the pulling action as well as the open door that is offering you space to go into. Exactly. So these are just like two very, very fundamental skills or dance moves that you guys as beginners should start to play with start to master, start to get more comfortable dancing together so that when that music does get on, whether it's a Marvin Gaye song, a, a Michael Jackson song, a James Blunt or a, a whoever it is, my Earth, Wind and Fire, so many of our students like dancing Earth, Wind and Fire, um, then you can already start playing around with these, yeah? And when we say play, we definitely mean play, not memorize, okay, I'm gonna do one underarm turn, oops. <laughs> and then I'm going to do one pass, and then I'm going to do one underarm turn, and then I'm gonna do one pass. And boy, oh boy, this gets really predictable. Yes, and you end up looking very robotic because it's all pre-planned in your head. So instead, what we want you guys to do is to play with this. And gentlemen, leads, you will have an unscripted time leading your partner. <laughs> And she doesn't oh know God. what's going to happen within these two actions. Yeah? Yes. And hopefully it looks more fluid, more organic because we're playing off each other. Exactly. He's doing the lead through his body language and I'm responding to that. So therefore we have a connected moment together mm -hmm. where it's really fluid and organic. Exactly. Imagine yourself on your next vacation. You're either on a cruise ship or at a local bar that you stumble upon and there's some live music and you're like, hey, I want to groove to this. Now, what would you rather do? Go, okay, I remember we're going to do one <laughs> underarm turn and then we're going to do one pass and then we're going to do one underarm turn. Oh my gosh, you will be so bored and really feel self-conscious of that. Yes. And probably some people will be like, I bet you they're going to do an underarm turn next. <laughs> and then Very the pass. predictable. <laughs> So have fun with it. When you're now listening to your favorite piece of music in your playlist, kind of have some fun with it. Maybe decide, okay, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do, but I understand the fundamental skills involved in pulling off these dance moves. This is by far the best and smartest way of going about learning how to dance together instead of trying to memorize specific dance moves. So these are just two simple moves that we've reduced down to the very, very basic form. Mm -hmm. But in fact, when you get confident with the skills and are able to lead and follow, you can develop these two moves further. Yeah, so for instance now, right now we had this, that simple underarm turn, but if we understand that underarm turn to the right, we can also do it to the left. We can also possibly do maybe multiple <laughs> underarm turns, yeah? And then same thing now if we have a pass, Okay, we understand a pass maybe to my right, we understand a pass to my left, and maybe now because we understand underarm turns and passes, we can start to combine those as well. So all of a sudden, from your basic, we'll say foundation, from your basic investment in understanding the skills of for dancing, <laughs> you can start to go, oh right, well what if we can do this? And what if we can do that? Maybe what if we can do maybe a pass with maybe a double? Whoa, Ooh. yeah, <laughs> and it's like, okay, well, I was just doing a pass. I understand how to do a turn and I can combine those because we understand the skills. But all this mixing and matching and developing further is only possible if you understand the skill of lead and follow. That's right. There has to be the philosophy for both of us to understand that and not just one person thinking lead and follow and another person thinking choreography, memorization and sticking to a routine. Yes, it's very cliche, but it does take 
to the tango. Exactly. <laughs> yep. And there are, of course, lots and lots of different aspects to this lead and follow concept. Lots of skills in terms of connection, in terms of hands, in terms of arms, body weights, timing, and all that. We're not going to go into all of that in this video as it would just take forever. That's just not possible. <laughs> exactly. But we do have a perfect online course for you guys to consider um, to learn all these skills and really have some fun on the dance floor together. We have couples all over the world who are learning with us how to dance, not learning a dance. That's right. It's so important whether you're doing a wedding preparation or whether you're just looking to prepare for the rest of your lives together to dance. It's so important to dance, not learn a single dance. There's so much out there on the internet, especially here on YouTube, and they're showing choreography for a single dance to a single song. <laughs> yeah, but you want to be able to dance to anything, anything of your favorite songs on your playlist. Exactly. So there's more information about our program down in the description below. Feel free to look at all of that free content as well and then reach out to us and we'll talk to you guys about the program. Yeah. If you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thanks again for watching you guys. Stay tuned for the next video and we'll see you then. Bye.